what are you getting right now? What are you hearing? What is the industry telling you? Well, as you just heard, Guy, the restrictions that are happening again here with this COVID wave two are pretty significant in the industry. And we, Cisco, are doing more to help those restaurant customers of ours than anyone in the industry to be successful and to make their way through this you know, pretty difficult time that will be in front of them. We announced today the opportunity to waive all delivery minimums, just take one more stressor off of their back so they can focus on serving their customers. And we're also offering free value-added services to help them be profitable during these winter months. So l let's break down kind of then what you're seeing. Um, anecdotally, obviously here in New York, indoor dining is pretty paltry. It's all about building these outdoor spaces. Whether or not they're safe is a whole different conversation. So literally, like, what are the supplies that restaurants are asking you for? And how is that changing just over the last few weeks as we've seen sort of targeted lockdowns? Yeah, Alex, it's a good question. And I'm being asked that question often, Kevin. What's the driver of business performance for these Restaurants, small, medium, and large, is it cold weather in the north or is it restrictions? To be crystal clear, it's restrictions on the customer. We have not seen a uh, significant differential in business performance for cold weather versus warmer weather. It's when on-premise dining is reduced from a 75 to a 50 or 50, 25, or in some locations have, you, have indicated from 25 down to zero. So what we've been working with our customers is to ensure they have a vital takeout capability a delivery capability that their website has been converted to a mobile version that's easy to use. As it relates to your question on what are they ordering, they're ordering the same things they were ordering before. They're just ordering at lower volumes, which is why today we've announced that we will eliminate those order minimums that I mentioned a moment ago. Kevin, can I talk to you a little bit about what impact you think the vaccine news will have? Do you think the, the effect will be that people will look at it and say, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I, I, it's going to be really difficult throughout the winter, but if I can just keep my business going, I now know that there is a way out. Is that what, what people that are running restaurants are telling you? What is their kind of optimism at the moment? That's a good question. And I, I think it's two things. It's therapeutics and the confidence in therapeutics treatment, having the death rate come down, and obviously the vaccine component and the light at the end of the tunnel. And that is what we're hearing from our customers. They're a resilient bunch. These independent entrepreneurs are just that. They're entrepreneurs, they're fighters. And we as a company are doing more, as I mentioned, than anyone else to help them survive and succeed through this crisis. But there were some reports back in that April, May timeframe of things to the nature of 30, 40% bankruptcies in this space. And we've been resolute from the beginning. We believe that's greatly exaggerated. In fact, our customers are currently closed at less than 10%. That could tick upward through these winter months, but. We believe that it's going to be much less of a permanent closure than what some media has been reporting. And we're doing everything we can to help them survive with takeout, delivery, menu redesign, increasing their profitability through consultation that we're providing. them. So, uh, Kevin, in the market, when we got that Pfizer headline, it was literally off to the races, a rotation in the market that w people have never seen. So when we get a vaccine, is economic activity going to be the same kind of thing? Oh, there's a vaccine. Great. Let's like all herd mentality go out to a restaurant. Like, it, are businesses preparing for that? Or what do you think the on off switch is going to look like? Yeah, thank you for the question. What we're seeing in our data is that the consumer absolutely is ready, willing, and able to go back out to eat as soon as it's safe to do so. Uh, in locations where there are fewer restrictions, our performance to prior year is actually quite good. It's really almost a direct line between the restrictions on the customer and that performance. So we can clearly see the consumer is ready to go out to eat. They want to, they want to experience that meal away from home. There's pent up demand. And yes, we anticipate a robust recovery as soon as it's safe. And safe will be driven in part by that vaccine. And, and there is a light at the tunnel, light at the end of the tunnel coming, hopefully in the early part of next year. Kevin, how different is Thanksgiving gonna be this year? It'll be very different. It's Thanksgiving and just the holidays in general. They'll be very, very different than in the past. And one of the things that we've launched is actually what we call a holiday toolkit. It's we have the largest sales force in the industry, and they're literally going one by one by one with our customers to help them with things like take out Thanksgiving, take out holiday parties, where obviously the, the size of the number of people going to a gathering will be much smaller this year. But we want our restaurant partners to be able to produce you know, take home meals that can in fact be served to a family that you can confidently say is 
COVID free if they come over because they're a part of your close network. So we believe there'll be much more takeout, much more delivered to their home. And think of it from a meal kits perspective. That's something we're very focused on right now. Okay, give me some perspective on how you are running sort of the day to day. Um, how many levers do you feel like you, or quite frankly, the restaurants uh, have to pull to help their pricing power, help their cash flow, in that the easy, ha low hanging fruit was probably already pulled already? Give me some insight into that. Yeah, I'll just talk from a Cisco perspective for a second, then I'll pivot to our customers. We just posted our Q1 results and uh, had a very strong performance. We were uh, you know, operating income positive. We produced over $900 million of free cash flow, and that's in an environment where our business is down more than 20%. So really proud of our team on the work we're doing to manage expenses, manage accounts payable, accounts receivable, really strong financial return. Our concern is our customers. They don't have the financial strength that, that we as a large company do, and we are extending ourselves meaningfully to be able to help them. And this announcement of waiving the order minimums is exactly that. Their volumes are really going to be uh, volatile, fluctuating up and down through these coming weeks into months. And we want to just take that worry of inventory management off their back, off their plate, if you will. They're having a good week. Great. We're here for them. If it's a slower week, no problem. We'll ship to you what you need. And frankly, from a takeout and delivery perspective, how they run their restaurant is very, very different than an on-prem dining environment. And many of our customers are learning that they can be profitable at a much lower level of volume. It's just the staffing of that restaurant is quite different than what it was pre-pandemic. 